Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, we'll learn about the fin empty category one payment messages. So as we have discussed earlier in the different sessions that Swift covers multiple fin empty categories messages starting from fin empty zero to empty nine category messages and that all the messages might not be relevant for the financial institutions. It might be relevant for the different different financial sectors. So in this session we'll learn about the fin empty one category payment messages and its definitions let's get started <clears throat> all right so it starts with the fin empty 101 message which is basically a request for transfer this kind of messages are generally given as one of the facility to its customer wherein they can make a payment or i would say request for a payment to its account holding institutions the next one is MT102, which is a payment, again, provided for a customer, but it totally depends upon the bank wherein they have a relationship to make a transfer of this MT102 messages between the financial institutions. Basically, the underlying reason for sending out this MT102 message is when they are, when a customer is willing to make a payment to a receiver with multiple different customers. So that is a multiple customer credit transfer payment. And then we have MT102 plus STP. We have different subtype of the payments. One of them is MT102 STP, which means the payments will be straight through processed. <clears throat> and then we have the major messages, which is MT103, which is a single customer credit transfer payment messages. And its subtype we have, which includes MT103 to remit if the remittance information is required more than 140 characters, then up to 9,000 characters, this 9,000 remit message has been provided. Again, this is altogether depending upon the bank's relationship with the sender or receiver. And I would say if they have taken a subscription from the SWIFT. And then we have MT103 STP, if it is a straight through process without any human intervention or manual intervention. Hmm. All right. Then we have MT104, which is basically used for the direct debit and request for the debit transfer messages. For this kind of messages you would see when there is a direct debit being set. Again, for this, you need to mandate. You need to provide the mandates. And then once the mandate is taken in place, mandate ID is taken in place. And every month, if you want to make a bill payment, you can do a setup for the direct debit or EMI payments. And multiple businesses use cases out there. Then next one is MT105, which is artifact messages or artifact envelope is what the description is. And an envelope which conveys a 2K artifact messages. We have MT106, which is artifact envelope again, but it is as well as 2K artifact messages. We have MT107, which is a general direct debit message. It conveys a direct debit instructions between the finance institutions. We have MT110, which is advice of checks. It advises or confirms the issuance of a check to the Troy Bank. We have MT111, which is MT111, request for stock payment of check. If there is any check payment already released to a customer, and if the customer wants to make a stop that particular payment of the check, can request by sending out this MT111 message. The next one is MT112, which is status of a request for stop payment of check. Now, if you have raised a request to stop the payment check, if you want to get the status of this, then this will be the message we use for it. Indicates actions taken in attempting to stop payment of check. We have MT121, which is multiple interbank fund transfer a defect fin payment messages. It conveys multiple payment instructions between the financial institutions in a defect format. MT190, which is advice of charges, interest, and other adjustments. It is just an advice to an account owner of the charges, interest, and other adjustments which has been liable to them. We have MT191, which is request for the payment of the charges, interest, or other, other expenses in the financial in the financial world. <clears throat> there are multiple charges, which includes pence and hour. <clears throat> that can be used over there as well. Then we have MT192, which is request for the cancellation of the payment if the payment has been initiated, whether it be the single customer credit transfer payment, MT103, MT102, right? And if it has to be canceled, then MT192 message has been sent out. 
We have MT195, which is a query species used by the operation users, and the same way the answers for the questions which has been asked. Then MT199, which is a proprietary message, and MT199, it is again a free format message generally used in Swift GPM. Now, if you want to learn this, all the messages, and if you want to know the business use cases in the cross border payments, and this is just an example of it. We have empty two categories, empty nine categories messages as well, which is included in it. Along with it, the its equivalent ISO 2022 messages as well. So all of it is covered in our course, which we offer. We, every month, we have a batch running in. So you just need to drop us an email to our email ID, which is swiftpaymentguru at gmail.com. And we would get back to you with the necessary information of that particular month. When is the timing? What is the timing? The course duration would be again, as I said, like it will be almost one and a half month. Over the weekend, the classes would be conducted. It would be on Saturday and Sundays mostly. And every Saturday and Sunday, there will be two, two hours of the class. And every day's recordings would also be given. Like for an example, Saturday and Sunday, the classes are going on and the classes would be recorded as well. It will be given to you as well. Uh, as soon as you attend the classes other than that we have converted tools which is included as part of this course we are offering free for our students generally we do charge for it but for our students we are giving it for free so that you can learn it the syllabus is quite popular and is available in different platforms in linkedin we have it on youtube now we are into this whatsapp channel as well. You can just search for the payment guru and you'll be able to find us in the WhatsApp channel as well. You can follow us to get the latest information of the batches, the job of vacancies, everything is there. Mm. All right, the syllabus looks like this, which you already are aware of it, where you learn about the basics and the payments from the beginning. Even if you are from the different domain, let's say for example, healthcare domain or insurance domain, you don't need to worry about it. If you want to learn about this payment domain, you will be taught from the beginning. Just considering that you are just a phrasal. But it will start from the basics and then gradually you learn the different concept which is there in the payments domain. You learn about the key elements of payment and settlement system, what are the basic elements that needs to be there. Each of it, we will define it. We we'll learn about the clearing and settlement mechanisms, accounts, the cross border payment, how the world used to communicate before uh, Finn came into Swift came into the picture, and then how the world started communicating after the Swift came into the picture. A lot of aspect into this cross border payment as well. We we'll learn about this payments into end business use cases, which includes a single customer credit transfer payment, direct payment, serial payment, cover payment, introductions. The need for validations that takes place, the SWIFT ACK and NAC, the architecture of the bank's integration with the network, Y copy and T copy, business identifier code, the charges that tends to happen at a bank level, and how is it handled for the BENSA and hour for the single customer credit transfer payment messages, what are different payment methods, that is direct payment, serial payment, core payment methods, all of it will understand with the business use cases, multiple business use cases, which is required for you to understand in depth. Then we'll learn about all the messages which is there for our syllabus, which includes for MD1 categories, two categories, and nine category messages. All the major messages which is required for you to understand, we will cover it. Not only the message structure, we'll learn about it. We'll learn about the message creation. We'll understand each element or tags over there and with and multiple examples. Same way, uh, we'll learn about the different differences, the differences between the multiple messages, which are tend to happen to be asked in the interviews as well. And then Swift GPI, we'll learn about it, right? What is its objective? How does it function? Everything we'll learn about right there. And the payment business use cases, we have created multiple with around 26. So it covers the payments on uh, the learning on the basics as well as advanced level of empty messages and the payments into the cross product payments. And then once you learn over that, we'll go into this ISO 2022 syllabus as well. Again, this is, this would take around three, three and a half weekend. And another three, three and a half weekend, it will take 
us to complete this ISO 2022 syllabus. Mm -hmm. Over here again, you'll learn about the basics and the background of this ISO 2022. You'll learn about the advantages and uh, challenges of migrating into ISO 2022. What is XML? What is CPR Plus? What is High Value Payment System Plus? Key differences between the CPR Plus and High Value Payment System Plus. Plan of the world High Value Payment System into ISO 2022. Then the different aspect of the SWIFT Transaction Manager, just how is SWIFT helping it, different channels which have been provided. And then we'll learn about the size of 2022 messages, which includes PAX, pain and cash management, as you can see. And then finally, it will also help you to prepare on the interview questions, which is around 50 questions, which we generally see being asked in the interview. And if you are ready with this all 50 interview questions, you will be able to crack some very good interview into this cross-border payments that I can assure you with my years of experience of teaching. So this is all about it. And again, coming back it, coming back to it, if you are interested, whether it be the online classes or whether it be the self-paced, self-paced, as you already know, you'll get all the videos in a pre-recorded videos manner and you can access it. The access would be there for a lifetime and all other features which has been provided, uh, that is, converter tools and all the reference materials which is required for you and also my contact as a trainer you would be able to reach out to me if needed in any of the project related support help and if you have any queries i'll set a one-to-one -one meeting with me as well where you can where i'll answer your questions related to the payments or the syllabus so that's all about it if you are interested as i said right you just email us at swiftpaymentguru at gmail.com. That's it. I'll see you next time. Take care.